Hello and good morning and welcome back to Not That You Asked, my unofficial title for the show where I wake up in the morning and I talk about shit in an attempt to avoid spiraling into depression. <laughs> it's just not really a joke, but um, that's sort of why this started and uh, hopefully I have something to share with you that resonates and maybe entertains you. And I was actually going to tell a story about why I have this fucking thing on my forehead. <laughs> See this? This is a scar right on the middle of my forehead. And so I, my husband and I go to this wonderful resort in Anacortes, off of Anacortes, which is near Seattle called Guimas Island. So there's this tiny little island. You take a five minute ferry from Anacortes to, and they have a little tiny resort there with these tiny little beautiful cabins right along the water. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And one of the cool things they have there is a wood fired, a wood stove fired, sauna so when you are arriving you call in advance and say we'll be there at whatever time make sure you have the sauna going so someone will stoke the fire so when you're ready for the sauna it's super toasty and awesome sauce and there used to be this woman there named holly who we love we love holly because she was like she was like a ghost but she took care of everything <laughs> so perfectly so when you arrived and you open the door to your cabin there's she had already put the fire on in the cabin and and so it's super warm and you're so welcoming and you're like yay and you know if you ask for the sauna the sauna's done you know you don't have to really think about it or ask again or check in or everything was taken care of by holly she was just this wonderful gal who we loved and then she quit and got another job and we were always like no where's holly and ever since she left i should send this to that company it hasn't been the same so when we were there last when we got to the sauna which we asked to have ready for us it's not a very it's not like a super posh place so don't get me wrong. Um, it's a beautiful, simple little mini resort. Anyway, so we go into the sauna and it's not warm enough. It's just a little bit warm. And so I had the wise idea because I'm from the island. I'm from Victoria and I know how to build a fucking fire. I love building fires. I'm like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. So I open up the little wood stove and it actually has a very small little opening. So it's not like a full size door. It's like this mini, mini stove in a sauna. And there's like just barely any fire left in there. And usually when you go in, it's smoking hot. Like you can stay for like five minutes or less. And then we run and jump in the ocean under the stars and go like, yay! And then run back in and get super hot again and we go in and out and in and out and you should go and try it. It's awesome. And stay in Fidalgo, but not when we want to be there. That's that's the cabin we always stay in. Number six. Anyways, more importantly, so I was like, step back. I'll relight the fire. I'll get it going. My dad taught me how to blow on a fire. I can get this going. So I, I'm sure you're getting where I'm leading to here. Um... Yeah, so I was like totally trying to make basically not a fire into a fire because it was burned completely down. And I'm like blowing and blowing on this thing like, don't worry, I'll fix it. And then that's not what wise people do. But I was trying to get the fire to go. So I sizzled my forehead. Don't do this at home, folks on the wood stove and there was like a blister all the way across the middle of my forehead now think about how cool that is <laughs> oh my god so now i have this scar 
You know when you look in the mirror and you're always telling yourself what a piece of shit you are all the time? You look old, you're fat, you're ugly, blah, blah, blah. All the awful things we tell each other. Well, now add to it a scar in the middle of your forehead. It's just marvelous. But now I'm trying to practice when you look in the mirror, got the old Louise Hay. I seriously am pulling this. This book I return to, I think that I'm way beyond that. I've moved on. I'm I'm so enlightened. I will never go back to affirmations. But uh, I have yesterday. I think it was pulled it out. And yeah, I think you know when you when we look in the mirror at ourselves and tell ourselves we love each love ourselves. Instead of tell ourselves that we're fucking ugly, old, and stupid, um, beautiful things start to happen. So let's try to do that, folks. Let's try to love ourselves instead of shit on ourselves for having scars in the middle of our foreheads. Which I'm going to try to get removed, because I'm, I don't know if I can take it much longer. Um, so that's the scar story. Um, I don't recommend you blowing on wood stoves in the dark. Um, and what else? Just let's try to love ourselves. What do you think? Okay. I'm gonna go do that now. Bye.